All right, so I'm joined with Courtney here. Uh, so Courtney, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit better so folks know who you are. Yeah, hey, my name is Courtney Dykster House, and I currently, I just started a social media marketing agency. Um, and it's been really, really exciting to see it pick up and, and grow, and it's really been uh, kind of based on this program. So it was my launching pad. <laughs> awesome. So why don't you tell folks a bit about how you came across the Work From Anywhere Accelerator and, and Christian in general, uh, just give them a bit of background there. Yeah, so um, I, I will say he does an excellent job. If his program is proof that, or his ads are proof that his program works because he found me. <laughs> and I always think that as I'm creating um, ads for my clients, it's like, you know what, if I can get ideal clients of mine based upon my ads, then obviously I can do the same thing for them. But um, so I came across one of his ads on Facebook and it was just at a time where I was really searching for something to really level up my ads, the way that I service my customers. And, um, that was one of the pieces of the puzzle that was really, um, hard for me. So I was struggling with trying to get good results, trying to create efficient funnels. Um, and I needed that. And so when I saw that ad, I was one of those people that didn't immediately jump on it, but um, I couldn't get it out of my mind. Like I, I went to sleep and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to miss out on this opportunity. And then I woke up and I was like, I'm still missing out on this opportunity. And, um, and so finally I, I made the plunge probably like three days after initially seeing his ad. Awesome. That's good. good to know our ads are working. That's exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly what we wanted out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so when you did finally join in, what were some of those first steps that you took? Because uh, it sounds like you were already kind of, you know, in that mindset. Um, yeah. So, you know, what actions did you take when you jumped in? Was it just ramming through the content? Was it like, what did that look like? Yeah. So I will say one of the, the pieces that I needed the most, which was so silly, it's like, it was just so silly, but for me, something that I knew I wanted in this program was the questionnaire form. Like, I don't, <laughs> like that's such a small piece of the puzzle, but when I saw that there was a very systematic way that he helps people be able to like construct these questionnaire forms, I was like, I need that. I'm just floundering right now. So when I first got started, that was one of the first things I felt. I just wanted to already start to implement that for all of my clients. But then after that, after I, I found that, then I just started from the beginning. I mean, I really didn't skip. Um, I know that some people that depending on like your strategy and the way you want to construct it, you know, they'll skip to a certain like module four or five. And for me, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't myself. So I, I really, it was really important for me to start mindset a module and making sure like I was big picture and okay. Um, just because you start a company and an agency doesn't mean that you have the mindset in order to um, be successful. Like I had very limiting mindsets. So that was really helpful for me. And, and what was really funny is that um, one of his modules, he, he, he posted about, or he included a link uh, from a Ted talk by Angela Duckworth. And it was about grit, you know, that one. And that like transformed, like I have like a whole slogan now based on unapologetically gritty. So like, it was really, really good for me, not only to get like the very systematic structures in order to create these successful funnels for my clients, but also to make sure like I established a strong mindset for myself going forward. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even, you know, even at this point, I'd say Christian and myself still hit mindset barriers. Yeah, it's just, uh, that's, that's one of the most continuous things. I mean, that yeah. never shifts. You always have. That's come to here, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> there's always, there's always something that pops up and it's like, okay, like you realize it. You're like, yeah, okay. This is like a mindset limiter, um, or some like weird limiting belief. But I mean, as long as you identify it, yes, that's, that's the most important bit. Like identify yeah. it, realize it, break mm -hmm. past it. Mm, so true. Awesome. And I wouldn't have been able to even know how to identify it if it wasn't for starting in this program, to be honest with you. I just, mm -hmm. or I would have gotten there, but it would have taken me a lot more time. And I, it would have been because of trial and error or not growth, right? Like yeah. I'm not going, why not? You know, and then I probably would have done some research and realized that I have to restructure the whole way I think <laughs> in order to grow and expand. So. Makes sense. Yeah. So how did you find the support and the training in the program? Uh, cause it, it sounds like you really went through the content there. 
especially the mindset fit, but uh, how'd you find the support going through it as you had questions come up and, you know, things like mindset? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So um, I will say to you, I've had greater perspective on the support for this program in most weeks after purchasing an additional program for something different related to like my business and a different entity mm -hmm. and realizing the difference in support um, for, for this program, it has really been not only giving the tools in order to succeed, but it's been so specific. Like it's not generalized. Um, everything that is out there that is put into this program, you can tell that he's um, had people go through this a lot because he answers a lot of the questions before they even, before you're even able to ask them, which is great. Um, it keeps you being able to stay plugged in and then answer things for yourself, you know, like be able to, if you can come up with a solution to that question. Um, he really encourages that, which I respect, um, especially, you know, as, as somebody who says like, think for yourself and, and, and be able to, you, you have the tools in order to get to that place. I think he established that really well, but when you do need that help, um, I think the greatest support for me has been the Facebook group. I mean, you have shown up like crazy. I mean, it is like you, you're really, really present in that. And, um, and it shows, you know, and, and, I want to participate more because I know that there are rewards to it, not only just for like my, my personal side of getting money, but like within the group, me, us being able to have this conversation, you know, is based upon goal guys incentivized us to reach. And, and so I think the overall support of this program has been well worth the money, like well worth. I, I did not know that it was going to be at this level. So I'm really grateful for that. That's great to hear. That's yeah. great to hear. Definitely appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, he's always here. <laughs> I try I spend way too many hours in front of my computer. I've realized more and more, but it's, it's all, it's all, all in a positive light. Yeah. Um, yeah. Making changes in people's lives. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Um, so you've obviously had some awesome successes, which is why we're talking. Yeah. So uh, why don't you tell us a bit about some of those wins that you had, um, you know, recently and also previously and, you know, let's, let's talk through. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I will say for specifically what this program offers. So in order for us to gain clients through ads, it has been really successful for me thus far. I, I haven't been growing at like, I was kind of one of the, uh, I hope this gives people hope for who's in this program and maybe like hasn't gotten their first client in, in a long time. I was one of the people that when I first started, like there was no movement. You didn't even know I probably existed in this group, right? Because I wasn't contributing. I wasn't reaching out to people. I really was just like waiting. And again, like talking about the mindset, I had to just like work on a lot of stuff for myself in order to get out there. I didn't believe I could get results. And so I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it in order to get results. So, um, so in the beginning, I was one of those really slow progressions for this program. And then um, once I got my first trial client and we got, um, I, we got really good results for her. I mean, like I, I did this funnel by trial and fire and I hoped that it was going to work and it worked like a relevancy score of 10. Um, we, we were converting with like well, $200. We got like 61 high quality um, leads for her and That's like awesome. it, it, no tweaks, no, no, none. I was just, I was forward. And for me, I think it was because I spent a lot of time, um, making sure like I understood that concept. Uh, but also in addition to that, like, I mean, in order for you to succeed in this, it was, it was kind of like, you just have like you just have to go through the program and um, it's not like a, well, you know, you just have to go out on your own and think of this abstract way. Like he really set a, a very like, structured equation in order for you to get results. And so I, I appreciated that. So that was one of my first wins with that. Um, I went through the quantum leap challenge. That was very helpful for me to be able to talk about wins. I mean, I hadn't had many, I just had that one, but I wasn't marketing it. Um, mm -hmm. I wasn't like comfortable talking about it. Now, do I do that a lot now? Honestly, um, and as I should, I really should, but it helped me to know like, okay, this is the level that I need to, I need to be able to talk about these wins. People want to know about those things. Um, and so now I have a client, which I didn't share in the group, but in addition, we're actually, um, we have ads on top of marketing, uh, just like overall digital marketing, well, social media marketing. And so she's a, she's a client, uh, 
per month, it's $2,400. So nice. um, I would not have been able to give, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. So I, I, again, I wouldn't have been able to offer, like, I wouldn't have believed I could offer that price and be confident in offering that if it wasn't for going through this course and, um, you know, knowing your value. And I love, I mean, I preach this to my clients right now with what Christian said, you're not being your time money, like you're tr trading for value. So like how good is what you're offering these people? That's what you rate yourself as. That's what rates come in, you know? So, um, and, and that was really good for me to hear just like overall in my business, not just for my, like, okay, I can't stop. I need to stop time for money, like for money for time. I really, yeah. I really need to start creating like value because once you do this more, you get quicker at it. And then what do you do? You, you know, you, you decrease your prices because you can do it quicker. No, I mean, like it's really based on results. And so that's given me more of an incentive to get better results for my clients because I know like, I can charge them high money and high, high prices if I can give them those results. So, um, you know, work in progress. We're still growing and um, <laughs> I still got a lot of work to do, but it's, it's been a good journey. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's probably one of the biggest barriers I think folks run into is the time for money. It's, yeah. And it's a continuous one too. I think, I think it circles back every so often, like you get, th things get good and then you start looking at, you know, if you have employees and all, you start thinking through like, you know, what time do they spend and all and it's like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. like, yeah. you know, you're, you're charging for value. Your, your yes. hourly rate of employees should always be covered or your hourly yes. rate of yourself should always be covered. Mm. But, uh, that's a, that's a big one. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So, you know, awesome wins. Uh, that's absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. So what's the best piece of advice that you could give to someone who's either like just getting in the program or, you know, even if they haven't jumped into the program yet and they're kind of just like, you know, I want to make that change. Mm -hmm. What's the biggest piece of advice that you can give them out of everything that you've gone through and, you know, what you've gone through getting to, to get into that client? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think the biggest piece of advice that I would give somebody there's, I think I would say like two separate things depending on who it is. So somebody that's mm -hmm. thinking of joining, I would say, just as like the pitch that you give to your clients is saying, Hey, you know, with my uh, fees, this could be covered by one lead. Like this is, you've already like paid for my services based on the lead. And, and so I think about for somebody who's joining the same goes for this program, you know, you could pay for this in full. And, and I did, you know what I mean? Like I, I did it. If anybody that honestly has clients in this program have paid for their, for this program in full by the first client that they get. And so it's, and, and like, then you're getting all of the support in addition to that. That's, that's free. You know, like, honestly, I'm like, wow, this should be a membership. People are probably going to kill me when they, when they hear this. Like, no, don't give any ideas. But that's like the, that's the level of quality that you get when you're in this community. So I would say um, you have to think of it more so as, the value, not the number, because once you get into this program, then you realize it's about the value, not the number. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but in order for you, you have to, you just have to take that risk. Right. And, um, and, and knowing like this really can change your financial situation, but you just have to, you know, you have to believe in programs there and it's hard to determine which ones are, are flukes and which ones actually are successful. And I mean, I'm, I'm super picky. I'm a former journalist, so I, I'm definitely more critical, um, and skeptical of things, but this program was, um, one of my first, no, my second program, uh, ever purchased. And it was, it's been by far the best. Um, so that's what I would say to somebody who is thinking of getting this program, anybody that's in the program. Um, you know, I would say again, I, I want to give encouragement for anybody who is, it's taking a long time for them to make moves. Um, and if, for somebody who's like still struggling or not really getting down the concepts, I would say, don't rush, like go back through the course again. You know, if you're having a hard time with understanding um, certain things within creating an ad for a client, like don't rush it um, at all. It's okay. Like everyone works at a different pace. So as much as you're seeing other people's wins in this program, you're not behind. Like you would rather spend more time making sure that what you're giving people is quality, you know, cause your reputation is behind your service to them essentially. So if it, it takes more time to get it done, like that's okay. But if you're like a trailblazer and you're like, um, 
Cody, you know, Cody win and you're just playing it from the get go. That's great too. I mean, like both of them are just as viable and just as important. So, um, I, I would just say, just keep going. Just don't not do it. Like you've already spent the money. So don't give up. Like just, just go, just keep doing it. And, um, I do like the initiative to, um, reach out to people in Facebook groups, like seriously, just, just continuously do that. I know I listened to Cody's and that was a successful thing for him too. And, um, it, it really does work and being confident in, in marketing yourself in that way and being, being honest about saying like, if you are still trying to find, um, a client uh, or a, a trial client, like being honest about, Hey, I just, I'm really, I really want to get results. So like, I, I'm trying this. I, I, I want this both of us and, and not giving up on that. And, um, honestly, it's like a swallowing your pride kind of thing. I had to do the, I'm not the best at this. Um, and then from there, just continuously deciding not to give up that grit mindset. Don't give up. <laughs> just 100%. keep going. It's a marathon. <laughs> I mean, it all, yeah, it all circles back to mindset funny enough. Cause even that like swallowing your pride thing, I mean, that's just playing to someone else's mindset of being like, well, I'm at this level. They're over here. I want to yeah. pull them forward. Right. And if you, I mean, if you can swallow your pride to do that, people will pull you forward. They'll give you those opportunities. Yes. Gosh, it's awesome. And the thing is, is like, don't underestimate the trial clients because, um, my trial client and, and Christian has said this, and I know you said this too, those trial clients could easily become clients. And like this client that I did a trial for, like, we are so like, we're, we're like friends now, genuinely like friend level. And we still work together and like, one of my best clients, seriously. So um, I, I was really great. Even though I gave her a free service, at the end of the day, she is far, like, we're, we're making lots of money together. <laughs> so, yeah. so that initial, like, oh, I'm still getting this trial client. Is it even worth it? Absolutely. Like, don't just say because it's a trial that you shouldn't be putting your best foot forward because you could have that client for a long term, especially knowing like when you give something for free, like instant credibility and trust. Like that person is like, whoa, like you must be really confident in what you're offering. The fact that you're giving this to me for free in some way. Um, obviously you do a return, like your testimonial and um, three referrals or what have you, whatever works best for you. But, um, um, that, that trial client for me was a launching pad for sure. So never, um, just glaze over that or think that that's not necessary. Um, and even if you think you could get a try, a, 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 you know, a high paying client in the beginning, awesome, but it's never, um, you should always maybe consider also like implementing a, a trial client in some way. If you feel like you could really be able to think about the, of what that trial client would bring the testimonial is worth its weight in gold. If you are just your, your own 100%. agency, like, I mean, come on. I mean, that, that really, 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 for me, I still certain at certain times I'm like, okay, I will give you something free in exchange for what you just said to me. Like I, yeah. I need that in writing so I can put all that in my ads or I can put that on my website. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just thinking about like the big picture for your long-term goals for your business and like what makes sense for you with that. hundred percent. Yeah. It's, it's building assets. Yeah. Right? And those testimonials are assets that mm-hmm. always carry value. Mm. Always. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, I want to appreciate, I want to appreciate you taking the time. This has been yeah. absolutely phenomenal hearing, That's hearing all that. Um, so if anybody wanted to get in touch with you, where they wanted to work with you or otherwise, yeah. what, what would be the best way for them to do that? Yeah. Um, so Oh, man, there's a lot of ways. Um, so somebody can always email me uh, at hello fiori h e l l o f i o r i dot com. Um, I can put it in like the comments or whatever when this launches. We'll put it in the description. Yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. And then um, also Instagram. I'm like really active on Instagram. That's actually where I've gotten like um, I would say ninety percent of my clients is on Instagram. Awesome. So um, so yeah, Instagram is a Courtney. TB. So those are the two ways I think the quickest ways that you can get in touch with me. Um, if you have any questions or just need like a little pep talk, we all need that at times. So. <laughs> For sure. Awesome. So we'll have the, we'll have those in the description below, uh, on awesome. YouTube and then probably in the post on Facebook, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I appreciate you taking the time. It's been absolutely phenomenal yes, having, having a chat through all this. Um, and, uh, yeah. So if you want to, want to catch Courtney, email will be in one of the descriptions above or below, depending on where you're at. Uh, and, uh, yeah, thanks for taking the time. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it.